Camilla has returned, but this time as the first corpse commander for the invaders. Don't worry, there are no spoilers in this video, so you can watch it without any concerns about spoilers for the world's 16 stories. In this video, I'll provide a full review of her hero's abilities and exclusive weapon. We will explore her item builds, and offer tips on how to utilize this new character effectively. Let's go straight to her abilities. Camilla will be having a party buff of crit hit chance plus 40%. She also has a weapon skill regen speed plus 2%, and a plus 5% shield increase on battle start. This ability provides a great DPS multiplier, and a highly versatile buff for DPS in every content. Making it an incredibly useful addition for any game mode. Her normal attack is called Queen's Gambit. It is separated into a normal attack and a character skill. Dark Spear. Employs spearmanship to inflict range damage. Her regular attack consists of two wave attacks, nine rapid projectiles, and a big shot in the end. This regular attack is incredibly aggressive and boasts an impressively fast attack speed. The great thing about this attack is that it can penetrate walls and obstacles. You can make use of this attack in all game content with confidence. Shadow Vine. Inflicts range damage to enemies. On hit, marks enemies with the corpse commander's emblem, reducing their defense by 10% for 6 seconds. Shadow Vine is a great skill for guild raids and boss rush, thanks to its ability to inflict range damage on enemies, and mark them with a corpse commander's emblem, resulting in a 10% defense reduction for 6 seconds. This skill is also highly versatile and can be used in any game mode. Her chain skill is called Event Horizon. It is injured to airborne. Generates a black hole to inflict 420% of DPS damage as range damage. It has a very high damage multiplier of 420%. Additionally, the skill's ailment effect is beneficial as enemies in the airborne status receive 50% more damage from ranged characters. This skill can be utilized in any game mode. Her special ability is called Corruption. Decreases all enemies' attack by 5%. Increases damage dealt by 15%, and decreases damage taken by 15% during battle. If she is fighting in battle, attack decrease effect increases by 10%. The attack debuff on enemies is especially advantageous in PvP modes like Arena and Colosseum, while the defense debuff boosts the team's overall DPS, and is more beneficial for raid content. Overall, this special ability is versatile and applicable to all game modes. Now let's see her exclusive weapon. Her exclusive weapon is called Fail Not, and it's an epic staff. Compared to Kama L's exclusive weapon, it has lower skill damage, but compensates with higher defense stats, and notable crit hit chance stats. These attributes make it a well-rounded option for any game mode. Its weapon ability is. Shadow Vine's defense decrease effect increases by 20%. If enemies under the effect of the corpse commander's emblem are damaged by Shadow Vine, deals 100% of DPS damage as additional range damage, and injury ailment will be slightly applied. If Shadow Vine's defense decrease effect is negated, deals 125% of DPS damage as additional range damage. The weapon ability of this exclusive weapon is a crucial addition to her kit, making her a more effective DPS unit in Guild Raid and Boss Rush, with its defense reduction effect. The Shadow Vine's added damage is also a great complement to her skills, making it a valuable weapon in different game modes. Her weapon skill is called Nightfall. It is level 7. It has 275% DPS and a cooldown time of 9.2 seconds. Throws her spear to inflict range damage to enemies. Puts enemies in an injured state. The weapon skill Nightfall bears many similarities to Lena's weapon skill, including fast execution, wide linear AoE, and the ability to pass through walls and obstacles. As a result, this skill proves to be incredibly versatile and useful across all game modes. Now let's analyze her overall kits. Based on our checklist, this is my recommendation. Camilla is a viable choice for story mode, but she may not necessarily be the optimal pick, as there are other characters that perform better in this game mode. But here are some reasons why you can still use her in story mode. Her basic attack has the ability to penetrate walls, which makes it easier to take down enemies that are hidden or hard to reach. She is also capable of serving as a primary DPS or secondary DPS in the team, and is a great teammate for Karina in terms of synergy. Camilla is an excellent character to use in Arena. Her normal attack is fast and aggressive, and it has the added benefit of being able to pass through walls. As a ranged character, she is also effective in 3 vs 3 mode. Additionally, her weapon skill is easy to aim and use against enemies. In terms of debuffs, she can decrease enemy defense and attack, making her a great lineup for your arena team. Same as story mode, Camilla can be a decent option for Colosseum, but she may not necessarily be the optimal pick as other characters perform better in this game mode. But here are some reasons why you can still use her in Colosseum. 
Camilla is a versatile hero because she is a ranger, which makes her easy to put in any team composition. Additionally, she can be used in a mono-dark team alongside Karina, and is an effective team against a basic element team. Her ability to decrease enemy defense and attack can give your team an advantage in a team fight. Camilla is an excellent choice for guild raid and boss rush, due to her unique abilities. Her defense reduction can boost the overall DPS of your team. Additionally, her crit party buff is great for synergy in a DPS party. Her chain skill inflicts the airborne ailment, increasing damage taken by 50% for all range damage, making her a valuable addition to your dark element DPS team. Camilla is a decent option for expeditions, but not necessarily the best in slot due to her single target normal attack. However, her fast and aggressive attacks can help compensate for this. She can provide a crit hit chance energy for Claude's range team. Nonetheless, she can still contribute to a party's success in expeditions. Camilla is also a viable option for co-op mode. With her high DPS, she can deal significant damage to enemies. Her weapon skill is also an AoE attack, which can help clear waves of enemies quickly. Camilla is a very strong unit in Kamazin, due to her high damage output and ability to decrease enemy defense. She is particularly effective against basic element enemies, making her a valuable addition to any team composition. Because she is a ranged character, it also makes her easier to fit into any team. As a significant character in the story, it's great that she's also a powerful unit in gameplay. With her versatility, Camilla can be a valuable asset in any game mode. Investing in her with all available resources can be worthwhile. I hope this review helps in deciding whether to invest in her or not. Now let's go to the item builds. Let's start with the defensive build. You can use it on World Story, Arena, Colosseum, or any game mode that required survivability. For weapons, use her exclusive weapon for its unique ability and optimal damage output. For accessories, use any high toughness accessory that has good skill damage and skill regen speed options. For cards, you can use two defense or HP cards. For merch, use use a photo card set, and make sure to max its level for the HP and defense stats. If you want to use him in Colosseum, you can use Sample Statue of Bravery to deal more damage or Agma Plastic Model to deal more damage to the enemy tank. For Relic, use Guidance of Truth for its defense party buff. Choose HP, defense, and skill damage for its basic options, and you should enchant it with a crit hit multiplier for sub options. You can also enchant PvP damage if you plan to focus on PvP. Now let's go to DPS build. You can use it on Expedition, Boss Rush, Guild Raids, or any game mode that require DPS. For weapons, her exclusive weapon is a must, because it will make her defense debuff a total of 20%. For accessories, use accessories that have high crit hit chance and attack stats. For cards, use two pieces of attack cards for additional damage. For merch, use sample statue of bravery or invader mothership replica, depending on the enemy HP. For relic, use holy vow for its attack party buff. Choose attack, crit, and skill damage for its basic options, and make sure to enchant for a crit hit multiplier sub options. You can also enchant it with damage to boss monster if you are planning to focus on raids and rush. I'm going to 
That's it for now, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.